Even with all the traffic woes, we will never say no to snow. Not only helps our drought outlook, it also has huge benefits all over the state. Our snowpack really looking great now up in the mountains. Also terrific news for our farmers and ranchers out east. Our northern Colorado community reporter Dylan Thomas spending his day traveling that part of the state. Dylan, tough driving, but you know those farmers probably wouldn't change a thing. You know, Jim, this morning I was driving around the northeastern plains of Colorado and there were times where visibility was at most a quarter of a mile. While that may be of distaste for many people or they may just hate this bitter cold, it's actually a good thing these storms for our state. Colorado is a headwater state and the snow that falls in our mountains is water that ends up benefiting us here in Colorado, but also many states and people downstream. Which is why it's so important that we have these wet and sloppy snowstorms every once in a while. January is usually a pretty dry month. When there is snow, it's not that wet, but this storm has brought quite a bit of water. CSU atmospheric science professor and state climatologist Russ Schumacher said the snowpack in our mountains is ahead of schedule. Typically, we would only be about 50% of the way to where we should be at this time. But so far, Colorado's mountains already have 65% of their normal snowpack. Over the last three weeks or so, the mountains have been getting storm after storm. And, you know, that's really where we need the snow to be. But recently, many snowstorms have been hitting the northeastern plains. Over the last uh, month or two, it's been a, a sequence of snowstorms up, up in that corner of the state. And so that's been a, a huge help in at least keeping those those drought conditions from getting worse. So, yes, the snow can come with danger. I even watched this semi jackknife in the whiteout conditions Wednesday morning. But Schumacher says, believe it or not, we actually need more storms just like this. From the perspective of water supply, we've still got a ways to go. It still needs to snow for the next uh, few months. So you may be thinking, well, nobody's growing corn or lettuce right now, so how does this help a crop? Well, according to my friend Mariah, who's an expert in these types of things, she says that hard winter wheat is actually prominent right now in Colorado. There is wheat being grown in the eastern plains that this snow is helping out right now. It'll go on to make things like flatbreads, croissants, and rolls as well. Reporting live in northern Colorado, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.